We have a birthday edition of Coffee, Tea, and Art, and it's a extravaganza. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday Apparently to singing. you. And that's all the singing I'm going to do. Happy <laughs> birthday to you. So uh, we have a tea that's really fun to share with you today. It's posy tea and it's going to make a flower in here and I'm gonna blow this candle out before it melts all the way into my cupcake. But this is a, what is this? A vegan caramel, caramel. espresso cupcake. Did I get all the words in there? Vegan caramel espresso cupcake. It <laughs> is a drink in a baked good. So yes. we're doubling down on the coffee and the tea today. We have coffee and tea. It's crazy. So what's really cool about this cupcake is it comes from feastingonfruits.com. We'll put the recipe and the link in the show notes below. I'm gonna blow it out and make a wish. Is that really long? I felt like that was long. <laughs> Hopefully it was okay, a good wish. Now there's a bunch of smoke. Okay. Special effects. <laughs> So what's cool about this is she makes a lot of her recipes, or maybe even all of them. I haven't looked at every single one on the site, but a lot of them have fruit instead of refined sugar. So this is vegan, gluten-free, oil-free, and refined sugar-free. Did I get them all? Yeah, it's basically about the best cupcake you can possibly eat. It looks awesome too. I actually had one earlier. Um, and also this recipe makes six, which is awesome because sometimes you just don't need 12 cupcakes. So definitely check that out. Um, I can just keep that here. I want to get this tea started because this is going to take a few minutes, but essentially posy tea is, um, it makes a flower. So it's herbal tea and it's white silver needle tea. And each one is rolled and they're all special. They show, you probably can't see this, but they show a bunch of different ones in the box. They have Lady Fairy, Heart of Love, Noble Essence, Falling Water, Butterfly, and what is that? Cal Cal Calendula? Calendula. Calendula. Okay. So we're going to open up this box and put one in here. And it'll create a flower, which is perfect for a birthday, right? Have a mm -hmm. little tea flower. Um... The first one is Lady Fairy. Let's pick a darker one. This looks like it has orange in it, so it's easier to see. We got scissors here. Nice. <laughs> um, they come vacuum sealed so that they stay fresh. And let me get this out of here. And you can see it comes in a little vacuum sealed silver pouch. And look at that. It's like a little see seed that. pod. It's a seed pod. So this is about 200 degree water. We're gonna plop that in there, and let that sit while we show you some of the other things um, and see what we get. I've used one of these before. They come out really cool and it's fun to drink. Herbal tea, they taste really good. And that's just like a fun little bonus. Plus it'd be a good birthday present for somebody. Yeah. I believe that was a birthday present from you to me like five years ago. <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> <laughs> right back at you. <laughs> So what we have to share besides the awesome cupcake recipe and the tea is some different magazines and books and art products. Um, I will be doing my drawing at the end of this of my cup of tea, flower tea and cupcake and I'm going to be using these new Echoline brush tip watercolor markers. These are new on the market. Um, they're Royal Talons. Royal Talons. Uh, they make a lot of really fun and interesting products, and um, these one of these is actually going to go, spoiler alert, into the Autumn Art Bento Box. So one of the things that we both do as well is put together an Art Bento Box, which is a subscription box of sorts. They're quarterly. Um, I sell them off my Etsy page. I do a limited run of 50 of them. But what's in them is a menu card of all the supplies in the box, and then there's an accompanying video with a project um, of what to do with the materials in the box. So this is the summer box, just to give you an example. And it has paper, different kinds of fine paper, um, an exclusive stencil, which I believe we still have a couple left on the Etsy page. They're limited edition. Um, Crafters Mini Workshop Stencil. Oh, that also has the art project I did for summer in it. And a bunch of other things. So typically it comes with some kind of art supplies, a little roll of them, some substrate to do your piece on. In the summer it was postcards. 
um, and other materials. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I feel like I'm promoing my own promo. Is that a thing? But they're cool and I'm excited to try out these uh, brush tip watercolor markers. So you'll see those later. Um, I hear they're really awesome and I've, I've played with the blue one a little bit but I'm going to kind of get into some colors depending on what this flower turns into. It's very slowly opening. And of course I'll be doing that in my Danic sketchbook. So check that out if you already get Art Bento Box. Yay! If you haven't checked it out yet, it's artbentobox.com. So there's that. And then I have a new magazine, which is, we have a whole pile here, Flow Magazine. This is a really awesome magazine. They also put out an, uh, a special edition, which is about mindfulness, which I think, especially on a birthday, you can always use a little like introspection. What have I done in the last year? I'm a year older. Um, and then just, you know, as you get older and as you have responsibilities, just the stress of life. Like, what do you do about that besides drink? Cupcakes. Drink tea and eat cupcakes. Yeah, I could use a few less cupcakes, I think. <laughs> but Flow Magazine is really awesome. It says, celebrating creativity, imperfection, and life's little pleasures. So the last one mm -hmm. we did was, uh, what was the name of the magazine we did in the last one? Uppercase. Uppercase. <laughs> Memory's going. Um, kind of lay, play out the difference between the two. They're both creative magazines, but what's mm -hmm. kind of the... So this one is, I believe, as, as I've read, because I've been subscribing for a while, is more about mindfulness and how to think about day-to-day -day life. Like this one is, hooray, it's raining. We often think of gray days as being a bit depressing, but this journalist realizes they're refreshing and inspiring. So it's kind of looking at life in different ways. Another thing I love about this magazine <clears throat> is it comes with little oh tip-ins. That's awesome. Yeah, it's a um, tiny art journal that you can use and you pull this out of the magazine and it has like some pre-done pages and some inspiration in it. But typically they have one or two tip-ins. I think this magazine also has a, um, I'm not gonna be able to find it that quickly, a page that has a window cling. So it's a piece of art that is a window cling. Um, that's really cool. <clears throat> but it kind of gives you like goodies to um, explore and enjoy and then also of course art and inspiration and how do you figure out how to live life in a meaningful way and find some balance. A lot of the stories are about artists and authors and writers. Oh, and, oh you found it. For your window. Yeah that's very cool. So you pull this out it's perforated and then you can put it on your window um, and it's just like a little piece of art that came with it. Very cool. So I love the tippets and their mindfulness version, which I think is coming up really soon. Um, I'll put a link down there to it and to this magazine. If you don't subscribe, it's definitely worth it. Um, that is even more tippins because they give you like little cards and little books and things to kind of work through figuring out how to be more mindful and kind of introspection. Oh, they also have an app. They do. Yes. A flow app. Daily moments. So little moments of inspiration. I think I have that app. It's really cool too. Yeah, if it's as good as the book, that's a very cool idea. Mm -hmm. I love kind of independent magazines. Um, they just have like a soul and a spirit and Flow is just a really great one. Just like the last one, very well designed. Lots of just inspirational layout, lots mm -hmm. of color. I saw a picture of Pablo Picasso standing in his underwear in here somewhere. What? <laughs> Isn't that Picasso? Yeah, I don't think that's underwear. I think that's the shorts they wore back then. Oh. You be the judge. Is that underwear or Pablo's <laughs> shorts? Why would he let up? He's smoking. He has a watch on. Who wears a watch with just underwear? I, I don't know. <laughs> so that's Flow Magazine. Definitely check that out. Um, and then you have a book that you want to share, right? Is that yes. a Kickstarter? Yeah, I, uh, as you'll notice through this, I'm robot, sci-fi, comics kind of guy. So this is something you actually gave me for Christmas several years ago. It was a Kickstarter um, by, and of course I never remember the author's name. Um, he goes on Instagram by CreatureBox. He's a guy who did a bunch of previs art for the Ratchet and Clank video games. Um, let me find his actual name. The flower's opening! Um, oh! Oh, there's a bunch of stuff. Here's his here. name signed, which I cannot read. But, 
Um, artists. Yeah. Dave, Dave, it says Dave Gerton and Greg Baldwin, and I don't remember which one is the Creature Box. Look up Creature Box on Instagram, though. Um, and it is just chock full of amazing uh, creature designs, sort of whimsical. Um, oh, look, here's an original one here. Yeah. Yeah, that was part of the Kickstarter. That's awesome. Um, love Kickstarter. Just really, I love looking at, I love these black and white sort of oh, yeah, trading robot. cards. Like, that one's awesome. Are just amazing. The crab. Um, Take a look at the color. Yeah, the color, the shapes. I mean, it's, it's really inspirational stuff. Um, Creature Box just released a new book uh, maybe a month ago um, called Shred Volume 2. So look that up too because um, you can get a lot more of this. I, I, I don't know if this book is, I'm holding this outside of the comments. I don't know if this book is still available in bookstores, but uh, it's an amazing piece of inspiration. So check it out. Creature Box on Instagram. Mm. <laughs> and I'm supposed to say more because she's eating a vegan, espresso, <laughs> caramel, healthy, no oil, no fat cupcake. It's really good. Have you tasted Happy it? Happy birthday. Of course I tasted it. I baked them. So I ate like, <laughs> you, like seven of them. You like it as you went along. Oh look, it's, 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 uh, oh, it is. it's opening. Expect. It's opening. So, we have an awesome book, magazine, the Art Bento Box, um, the watercolor markers. Yep. Is there anything else we want to talk about? Are you going to sing to me again? I got it. That's about as much as I can handle. <laughs> so it looks like this flower takes a little while to open. Um, we are going to cut here and maybe just like splice this together and come back after it's open. Is sure. that a thing? We can do that. <laughs> so. <laughs> so we'll see you immediately after I stop saying this. In this very next cut. <laughs> so uh, the tea is ready and I'm going to taste this. I also thought of one more thing I wanted to tell you about, which totally like spaced my mind. Um, spaced my mind? <laughs> I don't know what that Space, means. <laughs> the final frontier. <laughs> I'm getting old. <laughs> So this t-shirt I'm wearing is a birthday present I bought myself. It's from Problem Child Clothing. They have awesome stuff. Um, it's kind of an indie t-shirt maker and it's very soft. I like it. Weird people will pet you. <laughs> Thanks. Okay. No, you know I love you. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to try this herbal tea. It turned into like this really pretty like rose shape. So that's awesome. And during the break, I did find out that Creature Box is actually both guys, uh, Dave Gearton and Greg Baldwin. So, mm. credit where credit is due. This is awesome, especially with this espresso cupcake. Do you want to take this? Yeah. This tiny little... I love how so this, delicate. this whole set is like glass, so you can see through it. It becomes like this like perfect little escape really good. tea. I yeah. know. It's awesome. So, that's it for episode number three. Three. three of coffee tea and art we got a little coffee got a little tea and got quite a bit of art hope you enjoyed please subscribe if you like what you see and leave some comments maybe you can let us know what you want us to review in the future um we have some really fun coffees coming up and we're doing like a coffee experience but i don't think that's till november so stay tuned for that all right bye, bye.